Hi, this is just a uh, really quick video showing you how to set up your Coco 3 to display readable 80 column text on a monochrome monitor. So uh, as you can see right here, here's a typical Coco 3 screen when you power up. And if you go with 80 to move into uh, 80 column mode, the text is actually barely readable. Uh, I get when they were building the Coco 3 that, you know, they optimized the color schemes for a color monitor. But what I don't think they really thought about at the time was the fact that the color monitor was like hundreds of dollars and very few people actually ended up buying those color monitors. So, uh, you know, 80% of the people uh, were running with a monochrome monitor uh, and uh, they would get this every time they did a with 80, making it, uh, you know, pretty much impossible to really see any text on the screen. So in order to set the colors, uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to change some of the palette registers. The Coco's got 64 colors, and uh, uh, by moving the palette registers around, you can set the appropriate colors in the appropriate registers so that you can set up a, a readable set of colors. So I do that by typing palette, whoops, palette, 12 comma 48 that moves uh color 48 into palette 12 i believe palette and then the next one is palette 4 comma 0 okay so the palettes have been moved around now i just need to set the colors so i do that by typing attr 4 comma 4 and then now i can see my text which is great print mem perfect if i go cls to clear the screen. The screen is now cleared, but I still got this annoying uh, border around uh, the screen. So I'm gonna get rid of that by poking into uh, memory. So poke hex E04, whoops, 47 comma zero. And the border is now nice and black. So uh, if I uh, write a quick program here, I guess we have to do hello world, world 20, go to 10, run. And we've got our fantastic program running on our now visible monochrome screen. Thanks for watching my video. I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me.